I'm Ellen, and I'm the on-scene reporter. I'm Megan, and I'm the victim. I'm Lucy, I'm the geologist. This is Ellen Birgo reporting live from Pompeii, Italy. Mount Vesuvius had just erupted a few days ago. There is ash flying everywhere, even after these past few days. Lucy, what do you have to say? Well, this is one of the worst eruptions I have ever seen. It has a VEI of 5, which is pretty big for this type of volcano. This volcano is a stratovolcano, which is a composite volcano, and consists of a large cone. It either has eruptions that are that slowly erupt or eruptions that are huge and very explosive, like this past eruption. Yes, this eruption was a big one, and I think we all know that. Now we are here with one of the victims of this eruption. What was it like to live by this volcano, Megan? Well. You never really know when it's going to erupt, and this particular eruption came out of nowhere. There were a lot of people who died within this eruption, more than 2,000. I was just one of those lucky people who survived. Yes, you were. Very few have survived. The population was 20,000 people before this eruption, and now it, ha it stands at about 17,500 people. That's a ton of people. Yeah, also it has been a rough round here lately with all the ash flying around. It has been for two days now. Yeah, this city is just covered in ash. There's no getting around it. Now you can see as now you can see how much ash the volcano has produced after this eruption. Yeah, this ash is three cubic centimeters and Pompeii is covered under ten feet of the material set in motion by this eruption. While Herculaneum is buried under seventy five feet of ash. So Megan, were any of your family or friends killed during this eruption? Nope. Luckily, none of them had been. A few has been severely injured. Go. Well, I'm sorry to hear about that. Lucy, do you have any other information about this volcanic eruption that you could share with us? What information in particular would you like to know? Were there any earthquakes or tsunamis or things like that? There, were had, there had been several earthquakes, one after another. Also, with all of this ash piling on top of the rooftops, they are starting to collapse. Megan, can you tell us what Mount Vesuvius looked like before this eruption? The lower slopes were covered with vineyards. Up the mountain, the slopes which are covered with forests of oak and chestnut trees. All the loose ash on the slopes and the vegetation probably also had many mud flows. Now it's just covering. Here we are on the slopes of Mount Vesuvius. As you can see, there have been many mud flows and destroyed the land which people have been living. Wow, that sounds great. I wish I got to visit it before these eruptions. I also think that the town learned a lot from this eruption, such as what to do during an eruption and other things like that. Yeah, I think so too. This is, that is a good thing to learn, especially while living in this area. This has been another successful newscast on Merc TV. Thanks for watching.